Now this defense for the Bengals, they were very strong last week in that win over Cleveland. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. There he goes, right side. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six. The Bengals take it in. So a good defensive play there on the opening line go nuts as they make the interception and bring it back for the score. I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Goes out of bounds, they keep it. Someone can ride a lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. It's a loss of four on the first down play. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Throwing now is Brady. And this is caught by Evans. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. To throw, it's Brady. And it's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up Ford. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up through an opening, and there he goes. The 20, 10, and all the way in for a Cincinnati. To throw is Brady. Pressure comes, and down he goes. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. Jake Camarda sent on now to punt this away. Pressure comes, but it doesn't prevent him from getting off a good one here. Gets past one man. And now spinning away. A nice return that time of about 14 yards. And the Bengals take over first and 10. The Bengal offense on their way out as we look at the playoff race in the AFC. Well, we do know, Charles, they will be in the playoffs. They currently sit at pole position number one, but nothing set in stone right now. They still have to earn that top spot. And it makes me re Come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Touchdown, Bengals! Vegas, Josh McDaniels taking on his former employer there. And then Monday Night Football, the Rams and Packers from what should be a frosty Lambeau field at 8.15 Eastern time, 7.15 locally there in Green Bay. Outside linebacker spot gets him down there for a loss of four. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Dancing to his left. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for Cincinnati. And even 70 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. And he will take it on in for a Bengals tonight. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. Was that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. And he'll be marked down right at. for the touchdown. And the Bengals are able to widen their lead here in this first half. 
the end of that first half. They're just looking for a little more on top of their lead right now. And when you put together a game plan on offense, you put together what you think is going to be the best possible scenario, right? Hey, we're going to score. These are the plays that are going to do it. But you also put together your counters, meaning after they make adjustments to what you're doing, what do we have to go to next? And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. 39 yards yard line. Second and goal from the six this time. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside played all season, sitting now at 13-0 and with a finish line for a perfect regular season. That's in sight. Some of the media this week were pointing back. And that is caught. And he has now tied the record. Touchdown. On the carry, it's Holmes. Antoine Winfield up from the secondary with a tackle. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. They'll run with Holmes. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And a nice run there. Going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 41. And he's taken down inside the 30. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Jenkins. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. And that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand. And, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. A great play there. 14. They'll run. This is Holmes. 70 yards for him on the ground now, and three touchdowns to go along with it. Now a play fake here on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Quite a nice juke there. Really good move. He only gets about a yard, and it brings up second down. He finds his man complete. It's Jenkins. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 24-yard line. He'll look to throw. And that is caught. And the record is his. It's a touchdown. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taking charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive score. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now this throw caught left side. And now the rookie's free. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Trucks over him. A second nice move. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 37-yard line. And he's got some space here. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 
94 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that. And he'll take this into the end zone for a big. The points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. Their execution overall. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they need... And they are going to score again. Yet another...